Assalamu alaikum everyone. So today we are going to start book 6A, second edition, worksheet number 2, solving what problems, class 6. Write your name and date. Number 1 what problem is, N is thinking of a number. The number is represented by 2 and plus 1, where N is 50. What is the number that N is thinking of? So, as we all know that 2 and plus 1 is represented already, so we have to write 2 and plus 1 is equals to 2 and n is equals to 50. So we are going to write 50 in the place of n plus 1. Now we have already know that whenever we are having the numbers like this, we multiply the number. So we multiply 2 by 50. So 250 is 100. 100 plus 1. 100 plus 1 is 101. N is thinking of the number 101. Now move on to the next word problem which is Ahmed has X marbles. We don't have the number of the marbles. It's just an X marble. He has 40 more marbles than women. Now you have to find A and B. In the A section, you have to find find the total number of marbles that Ahmed and Wiming have in term of X. This is the total number of marbles. Now, Ahmed has 55 marbles. How many marbles do they have all together? So, first you have to find out the marbles of Ahmed and Wiming. Then you are going to find the other things. So, number A is x plus x minus 40 it means x plus x is big it, this one is for Ahmed and this one is for women and the 40 more so you have to write 40 now x plus x is 1 plus 1 so it is 2x minus 40 now Ahmed and women have 2x minus 40 marbles. Number B, now you have to find out Ahmed has 55 marbles. How many marbles does do they have all together? So, Two x minus forty. The same number we have here is equals to two multiply by fifty five minus forty. Here we have the x is fifty five. Ahmed has fifty five marbles. Here is Ahmed has x marbles. So x means it is fifty five. So I am going to write two. In the place of x, I am going to write 55 and then minus 40. So, solve this. First, you have to multiply. 2 multiply by 55. 2 fives are 10, 0 and 1 here. 2 fives are 10 plus 1 is 11. Or you can multiply this like 2, 5 and multiply. 2 fives are 10, 0, 1. 2 fives are 10 plus 1 is 11. Minus 40. So 110 minus 40. Now 110 minus 40 is 70. It means that they mar how many marbles do they have all together? They have 70 marbles all together. They have 70 marbles all together. Now move on to the next word problem. Word problem number 3, page number 8. Word problem number 3 is Raju had P stamps. P. We don't have any number. 120 of this stamps were local stamps and the rest were for region stamps. Raju found then give him 2p for region stamp. So here we have again a p. 
now first you have to find how many foreign stamps did raju have at first it means this raju had 165 stamps at first so here is the answer of this question how many foreign stamps did he have in the end in the end it means that the first is 165 and then raju's friend gave him 2p so you have to find out the value of p then the stamps are the total of the number at the end so what we have to do first we have to write p minus 120 so because 120 of his stamps were local so it means we have to subtract the local stamps from the total stamps then raju had p minus 120 for region stamps stamps at first now this is your a now you have to find the b b is p minus 120 plus 2p this 2p the friend gives and the total value is p minus 120 a so p is here they have given that raju had 165 stamps at first so it means that p is 165 So according to this you are going to write 165 minus 120 plus 2 and again p it means you are going to write again 165 So 165 minus 120 plus and multiply by 165 multiply by 2 so 165 multiply by 2 is 25 so 10 0 and 1 2 6 so 12 plus 1 is 13 2 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3 so 330 now you have to add and subtract the numbers to get the answer so first you have to subtract these two numbers then add the number 165 minus 120 is here you have to write 165 minus 120 5 40 it means 45 45 plus 3 30 now 3 30 plus 45 5 7 3 so the answer is 375 it means that raju have 375 stamps at the end so you are going to write your answer that raju had 375 for region stamps at the end Now move on to the next word problem. Word problem number four. So your word problem number four is Miss Chen bought Q sweets to school. She gave twenty four sweets to her colleagues and distributed the rest of the sweets equally among forty pupils in her class. So here you have to again find two things. Number A is find the numbers of sweet each pupil receive in terms of q it means that this is a number mr chen bought 144 sweets here they have right bought q sweets it mean he bought 144 sweets how many sweets did each pupil receive so q minus 24 upon 40 because he divided the sweets into 40 people so here i have written the 40 in the divided form so this is your first equation that each pupil receive
Q minus 24 upon 40 sweets. Now move on to number B. Mr. Chen bought 144 sweets. It means you are going to write 144 in the place of Q everywhere. So Q minus 24 upon 40 is equals to one forty four this q is equals to one forty four minus twenty four upon forty so one forty four minus twenty four is one forty four minus twenty four is one twenty one twenty upon forty now you have to divide one twenty upon forty so you can simply divide 120 by 40 43 is 120 4 3 is a 12 and 0 so 3 is the answer that how many sweets did each people receive each people receive each pupils pupil received three sweets what problem number five page number ten